my name is Sophie from Vlog Media. Mm -hmm. uh, it's great pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Yes, nice to meet. Nice, nice meeting you. you. <laughs> I'm uh, Brian, and yeah. I am uh, CMO of mm -hmm. iHouse. Com. So nice meeting Thank everyone. You. Uh, can you tell us briefly about your company and of course about you? What was your core reason to join here? Oh. Yeah, um, iHouse.com, we are um, leveraging the uh, mm -hmm. blockchain technology to provide real estate uh, blockchain solutions uh, for uh, other business, particularly uh, site developers, real mm -hmm. estate developers. Um, we believe um, the future of blockchain. We also believe um, the future of asset uh, tokenization, mm -hmm. and that's why we are here. Mm -hmm. And we we right now at the at, at the entire uh, asset tokenization process or security token offering, we believe that we are at the forefront um, of the entire development since we have already advocated. Um, this asset tokenization concept uh, for a while in the mm -hmm. market. Um, I have 20 years background in banking industry. Oh, really? Yeah. Traditional banking industry? Yeah. Wow. I, have, uh, I have a mix of uh, 20 mm -hmm. years uh, um, experience and, um, in banking industry mm -hmm. and e-commerce industry. Uh, so um, I've experienced the uh, 2000 uh, internet development mm -hmm. from bubble yes. to 2010 mm -hmm. um, high fly of the internet. Um, I also experienced between um, um, the entire banking um, booming mm -hmm. um, until 2008, um, the entire uh, financial turmoil. So of what I've seen in the last um, um, 20 years exciting development, I believe um, all the current development of blockchain or all the entire trend of blockchain is very similar to the last 10 years of internet development. And that's why I'm here because I would like to leverage my experience mm -hmm. as, as well as my, my uh, leap of faith of blockchain and I want to see how it goes. And I believe that um, it's going to be a very exciting mm -hmm. journey. And you know what, I'm very interested in real estate industry. Mm -hmm. Is there a specific example of how the blockchain techno technology was used in the real estate market? Yeah, mm -hmm. so right now uh, we have two projects on hand. We have, uh, basically we have uh, 10 projects mm -hmm. under development, but uh, these two projects is something that is already under the process of development that we can share. Others, we are still exploring mm -hmm. the co potential cooperation. Mm -hmm. For these two projects, one is at Japan and one is at Miyara, Miyama. Oh. So um, for the Japan one, mm -hmm. um, we, have, we are working with a resort that um, we make use of the blockchain to help them mm -hmm. to asset tokenize. It's mainly talking about the uh, usage benefit, time sharing mm -hmm. for the resort. Um, in the Japan real mm -hmm. estate. Um, for the other one, um, as you you have you are professional in expert in the real estate industry, so you should heard of time mm -hmm. sharing. Yes. It's not a difficult um, name to understand. Mm -hmm. So we basically apply the time sharing mm -hmm. concept mm -hmm. into the real estate, mm -hmm. but um, it's much more concrete. We we don't need all the intermediate. Basically, the developers go to the users. Mm -hmm. We just empower them. Mm -hmm. And for a Miyama, Miy Miyama project, we are working with a real estate developer, which um, uh, is a small to medium real estate developer. They are develop a huge um, compound mm -hmm. that comprises of um, residential entertainment. And we are helping them to asset tokenize mm -hmm. their asset um, so whoever who buy the token, they will have the membership right of using all the entertainment within the, the site development. So we believe um, um, the experimenting, experimenting of this kind of um, token project is, um, we, is a key mm -hmm. for us to enter the STO um, area. Yeah. Interesting. What is your secret ingredient to the global market? You mentioned Japan, you mentioned Myanmar. Uh -huh. I think there's nothing um, secret mm -hmm. that's, um, or, or is something uh, nobody can do. I think everyone believes in blockchain mm -hmm. can do something like us. However, mm -hmm. um, I think our, move, uh, our benefit or our advantage mm -hmm. is we, we have the first move 
advantage that um, when many people are still doing utility token, yes. we've already doing, mm -hmm. um, we believe that um, utility token is more speculation. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of utility token, they do not have um, the intrinsic value tied with them. So there's a lot of bubble. But what we believe is um, the potential of tokenization is much bigger mm -hmm. than what we can imagine today. Mm -hmm. Because you, if you look at the entire finance market and capital market, um, because of my background, yes. then you will understand there are lots of potential assets there. Mm -hmm. They are not being liquidated. Mm -hmm. They are not being they are not being financing as a product that helping the capital or asset owner mm -hmm. to have easy money mm -hmm. to develop their uh, business. Mm -hmm. And we do we and, and with the tokenization that we not just helping um, the um, the asset owner to tokenize their asset, we also offer alternative products and investment opportunities for a large scale of users. If you apply this concept into the real estate development, today there are many, many real estate developers, they are looking for fundraising. Um, they are looking for ways of, um, a better way of financing, also for small investors as well. If we believe this is the trend, and we believe this is pro poten this potential, it's just um, I house, we have a more long-term perspective and we enter into the market. And because we enter into the market, we need to ask ourselves, do we do one market by one market by one market? Mm -hmm. And we kind of, we, we the, the answer for us is because uh, most of our founding team members or management team, we have strong Asian background. Mm -hmm. um, we're coming from Hong Kong, China, and a lot of our working experience is How not just- Korea? And Korea. Mm -hmm. well, we, have, we have team members mm -hmm. in Korea. But because of our strong Asian background and we have experience in Silicon Valley mm -hmm. and China, mm -hmm. so we believe that to expand quickly into various market, to learn from it, is the best way for us to stand at the forefront mm -hmm. of the entire real estate organization process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I, I think you already mentioned it, but what is the difference between existing system of parceling out, you know, system and blockchain system? You are uh, more expert than me. <laughs> for the current process, for large developers, if they want to raise money, mm -hmm. right, usually they go to banks or they, yes, they, they issue corporate bonds. Yes. The process is long. Mm -hmm. the, the interest they, that they have to pay mm -hmm is uh, much bigger. Yes, um, that's the problem. And, yeah. and also, um, but a lot of uh, small to medium developers, they do not have such mm -hmm. benefit, right? Thinking about tokenization basically is cut out all the intermediate, mm -hmm. cut out all the middlemen, and it's for mm -hmm. people who have good projects, good real estate mm -hmm. projects, when they have money raising need, they go directly to your community, they go directly to users. And if they have their trustworthy and their good project, there's a huge market. There's a huge long tail market there. And we believe that at the, in this uh, potential market, you need someone who has good understanding of blockchain technology. You have to good understanding of the entire market. We come in to help serve both sides. Mm -hmm. yeah. Interesting. Thank you for your answer. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about ATO. Yeah, okay. It's a little bit new, right? How yeah. can I figure out ATO? Yeah. Is how, it similar? How can you figure out ATO? Right. Is it similar with ICO? Um, no. Mm -hmm. ICO, if you look at ICO stands mm -hmm. for uh, Initial Coin Offering. Yes. Uh, it basically means you um, is um, uh, a utility token that tie with certain benefit yes. or rights of mm -hmm. in the community, right? You can search in internet and mm -hmm. there's a lot of definition. But if you look at the entire utility token market, 90% um, of it, there's, um, even though there's a white paper, mm -hmm. but um, there's no real intrinsic yes, value. Exactly. Um, all the price ups mm -hmm. and downs um, is more on uh, speculation. Yes. Certainly. Our cons we believe that, no, we, we also believe in utility token, mm -hmm. But we believe the entire trend, no matter it's um, security token mm -hmm. or utility token, if you see the current trend, it's all about that no matter, no matter what kind of token you are offering, it must tie with certain real thing, yes. right? Either you got a real business model, mm -hmm. you, got, um, you, are, you are getting money in, um, where no matter is um, uh, 
uh, you are doing tech infrastructure yes. development for the future, mm -hmm. or you are issuing dividend mm -hmm. for the token you are. There are many ways you can do it, but the people in the market right now, they tend to trust projects that showing the potential of the return instead, instead of just hype. So with that vision mm -hmm. and of the uh, an observation of the trend, we invent the term of our uh, mm -hmm. our product is asset tokenization, mm -hmm. meaning we have we we could we could work with developers for different kind of project. For asset tokenization ATO project mm -hmm. is something that we tie the asset with membership benefit. Oh. Whoever buy that token, they can e either can be time sharing mm -hmm. or um, fitness center mm -hmm. or entertainment center, entertainment center of the usage right oh, really? of the real estate. Because oh. this is more like a transformation of utility token mm -hmm. into asset tokenization that ties with the benefit. For security token, is more um, that you tie with the physical asset and the revenue growth and dividend together. Then this is a harder Union strategy, right? Right. Mm -hmm. This is mm -hmm. the harder part tied with uh, regulation, all these kind of things. But we believe this is the future. Yes. And between now and then, mm -hmm. we provide different kind. We are also working on um, STO, which is more longer term. But between now and then, we're also experimental, experimenting um, ATO, and we hope we can learn something of it and bring this knowledge and learning quickly worldwide, particularly in Asia and Korea, and into STO. And let's move on into compensation system one more time. Can you explain it to our viewers? Yeah. About compensation system. Compensation system. Yes. What do you mean? If, Sorry. If, what do you if mean? If I want to invest, you know. Huh. Uh, some you know, assets, uh -huh. like you mentioned. Uh -huh. If I want to get your right. security token, right. how can I, you know? Right uh, now, mm -hmm. um, all the ATO, ATO mm -hmm. project we only offer for inst institutional mm -hmm. investors. Ah, yeah. So, which is more I, first so year. So, I don't have a chance right now. Uh, not <laughs> yet. Right now, mm -hmm. not. But uh, so, right now, we focus on first tier mm -hmm. market, which is more institutional mm -hmm. investor. At latest. But, but as you may know, mm -hmm. um, for IHT, <coughs> we've already listed in um, free yes. um, Korean Orbit. exchange. Yeah, Orbit, cash rate. Orbit, cash rate, yes. right? So mm -hmm. um, we have, su we have accumulated mm -hmm. sufficient awareness, mm -hmm. um, trust in this market. So in a, I, I don't think it takes too, too long time then um, our ATO project mm -hmm. will enter into the second tier mar mm -hmm. uh, market. Um, then the next question is when this will, will be happening. Yes. I don't want to overpromise, but it's not hard to imagine mm -hmm. if right now we, we, we've op already been opening this to institution mm -hmm. in investor, when they want to sell mm -hmm. the ATO token, then it goes to the second tier mm -hmm. market. So stay tuned. So maybe I. I get chance, you know, soon, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you will be the first yeah, batch okay. we invite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thank right. you very much right. for saying this. Congratulations to your thank company's you. recent ICO with thank Orbit, you know, uh -huh. followed by cash uh -huh. in the Korean uh -huh. market. Maybe, uh -huh. I guess the exchange market in Korea really good uh -huh. for you. Uh -huh. uh, is there a reason for multiple ICOs in Korea? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we have, uh, we we come to this market with a humble heart. Mm -hmm. We need to learn from this market. Mm -hmm. So um, while, so we work with different exchange to learn from it mm -hmm. and understand the market sentiment. But this is only on one side. The other side is we are being invited yes. to, mm -hmm. um, to lease on those uh, exchange and they give us uh, favorable mm -hmm. terms. And I guess it's, uh, and the, then the next question is, why you are, why you are being invited mm -hmm. or why you are easily being trust in this market and i get i guess it's is about um the our belief our um our company concept mm -hmm. um people trust the future of uh, sto and the real estate tokenization mm -hmm. and i and they when they read the company profile they understand the company what we are doing they know that we are c not coming to this market for short term and now most of the exchange mm -hmm. they are they are hungry of uh, good projects yes. and p 
people got those background that they they deserve to be mm -hmm. trust. And I guess um, I House is one of them mm -hmm. that we are coming to this market for long term, and we should we deserve to be trust. And that's why um, in a very short period of time that we 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 list in those free exchange, and um, we believe that Korea can potentially mm -hmm. be the biggest market of IHT transaction. Mm -hmm. yeah. Really? Yeah. Right now, <laughs> right now it's already mm -hmm. um, the second largest. Mm -hmm. So okay. sooner or later, mm -hmm. I believe that could potentially be the largest. So I couldn't agree more. And my last question is, what is your company's future goal? Um, we have, uh, as you, as as I said, mm -hmm. iHouse is providing um, blockchain solutions for real estate developers. But um, if you look at the longer term, when the entire um, security token or organi uh, tokenization is the trend, mm -hmm. um, when we accumulate sufficient learning um, through the real estate blockchain um, projects, mm -hmm. and potentially we would expand to um, other asset organization as well. And this is more vertical mm -hmm. perspective mm -hmm. that type of eye house. But um, in the near future, we could invest in, I mean, from a capital investment standpoint, um, we could, because we have money, mm -hmm. we could invest in other ecosystem mm. that tie with blockchain um, so we can complete our mm -hmm. ecosystem development. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. we could strategic alliance with mm -hmm. some um, of the um, other eco, uh, other blockchain solution. We could join partner mm -hmm. them, or we would acquire them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. It was great interview. Thank, thank you, you again. Thank you. So thanks for your time today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 네 지금까지 아이하우스 CMO 브라이언과의 인터뷰 나눠봤습니다. 더 자세한 내용 나중에 나오면 또 여러분들께 전해드리도록 하겠습니다. 시청해주신 여러분 고맙습니다. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.